Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minir Malabasnit. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. Farmers are worried about the decline in production of cotton in Nepal due to the use of old seeds. The Committee on Agriculture Cooperatives and Natural Resources of the House of Representatives has directed the government not to implement the decision of the previous government to exchange or transfer the land of Giribandu tea state in Chapa. Farmers of Nawalpur are worried after the disease was seen in their paddy crop. Plus more. Let us continue the program with the tea and coffee. The commercial tea in Nepal started from Ilam in 1863 AD. It is believed that the seed of tea was gifted to Jangabadu Rana by a Chinese emperor even before this. So the policy on tea in Nepal has a long history. In the recent times, coffee is also cultivated in Nepal. The Nepali tea is now branded. Nepali farmers indicate that their tea is organic and is of high quality. The country now has National Tea and Coffee Development Board. This organization makes policy for the quality of the tea in Nepal. This keeps the Nepali products in the international standards. The National Tea and Coffee Development Board has urged to use the trademark in orthodox green tea or the specialty tea produced in Nepal. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The National Tea and Coffee Development Board has urged to use the trademark in orthodox green tea or specialty tea produced in Nepal. Nepali tea traders have requested to apply for the permission to use the mark as per subsection 1 of section 5 of the directive. Tea traders and packers wishing to use the trademark by engaging in the sale of tea in bulk or retail packets in accordance with the Code of Conduct and Conditions of the Directive must contact the office within 35 days. It has also requested that the tea traders and packers who have obtained trademark license in the last fiscal year to renew their license. After the news report, let us now talk about cotton cultivation. India produces the most cotton in the world according to one record. China is in the second place and the USA is in the third place. India is also the country which produces the highest quality cotton in the world. It is understandable why Nepal has to face inferiority complex when it comes to the production of cotton. However, Nepal has high potential for the high quality cotton. cotton is a natural fiber which is used to produce clothes. Cotton clothes are good for health as they keep the body warm in winter and cool in summer. Cotton clothes are the world's favorite because of comfort and low price. Despite the immense potential for cotton cultivation in Nepal, farmers are worried about the decline in production due to the use of old seeds. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Cotton farming has been on the verge of extinction lately. Farmers are reluctant to cultivate cotton due to the lack of good price for cotton, closure of textile industries and lack of improved seeds for cotton. However, Dang's leading farmer Navraj Nupani advises and encourages others to cultivate cotton. He has been cultivating cotton as a leading farmer through the Cotton Development Committee since 2044 BS and has been forcing others to do the same. He says that he has been giving necessary advice to farmers cultivating cotton in Karang Kola, Gurung Kola, Madwari Kola and other areas of Rajpur village municipality of Dang district. <laughs> Cotton is suitable for cultivation in areas without irrigation. The main utility of cotton is to make thread from cotton fiber and cloth from the thread. Apart from that, oil can be extracted from the seeds and the grain can also be used to make animal feed after the oil drains from the cake, says Mainali, a leading farmer. Similarly, the stock becomes the thread required for the number one hill paper. Manure can also be made 
from the leaves. Since the price of cotton is higher than that of maize, millet, and vegetable farmers can earn more profit. Cotton can be cultivated by plowing like other crops in wet areas. Dang, Surkit, Banke, and Bardia districts of Nepal are famous for cotton cultivation. However, due to the lack of new seeds for cotton, farmers are confused as to whether to cultivate cotton or other crops. To solve this problem, new seeds are being tested through the Cotton Development Committee. According to Nopani, new technology and various seeds are being researched. <laughs> As Nepal produces 1.5 metric tons of cotton per hectare, it has the same potential for export. However, currently, cotton and cotton products are imported from India. Even though the quality of cotton produced in Nepal is high, it is cheaper to come from India, so the industry buys cotton from India. For this, the government has not been able to run programs that can consume domestic products at the same price. Billions of rupees worth cotton is being imported annually. Even though the country is fertile for cotton cultivation, its cultivation is shrinking. Due to the lack of expansion of cotton cultivation in the country, the annual production has decreased and the import has been increasing. After the news report, let us now talk about paddy transplantation so far. Even though Nepal imports a lot of paddy, the Nepali farmers continue to work to produce the paddy in the country to replace the imports. This year, the paddy transplantation started earlier than the previous year since the monsoon arrived earlier. In many places of the country, disaster occurred due to the floods and landslides. Many people lost homes and land for livelihood. Yet the good land needs to be cultivated and life must go on. There have been efforts to provide relief for the victims. And the farmers in Nepal have been working hard to transplant to overproduce to compensate for the loss. Compared to last year, paddy sowing has decreased in an area of 4,000 hectares this year. Let us look at this news report for a little while. According to the Department of Agriculture, 97.89% paddy sowing has been completed in the last week of Shawan. According to the department, paddy has been planted in an area of 1.371,702 hectares in Nepal. Last year, 1,346,920 hectares were planted. Out of the total hectare area, 4,000 hectare area has not been planted. Last year, 98.19% was transplanted and this year, 97.89% has been transplanted. In some of the seven states, more paddy has been planted while in one state, less paddy has been planted. In state 2, only 96.80% paddy has been planted this year as compared to 99.2% last year according to the department. So far, 96.89% paddy has been planted in state number 1 and 96.80% in state number 2 and 98.8% in Bagmati state according to the department. Similarly, 98.64% transplantation has been completed in Gandagi. According to the department, 98.95% transplantation has been completed in Lumbini and 100% in Karnali. Similarly, 99.6% paddy sowing has been completed in the far western state. The Ministry of Agriculture has estimated that 6 million metric tons of paddy will be produced this year. In the last fiscal year 2077-78, 5.6 million 21,710 tons of paddy was produced. According to the department, 5.5 million metric tons of paddy was produced in the fiscal year 2076-77. After the news report, let us now talk about land policy. The Nepali government has adopted the national land policy after years of collaboration between the government of Nepal, the Global Land Tools Network, and all its partners. Nepali government took consultation with experts, communities, and other stakeholders. This is a milestone in addressing long-standing problems such as recognition of 
informal tenure and equitable access to land for landless smallholders and informal settlers in Nepali society. The policy is supposed to achieve the national goal of sustainable development through good land governance. The Committee on Agriculture Cooperatives and Natural Resources of the House of Representatives has directed the government not to implement the decision of the previous government to exchange or transfer the land of Giribandu Tea State in Chapa. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The Committee on Agriculture Cooperatives and Natural Resources of the House of Representatives has directed the government not to implement the decision of the previous government to exchange or transfer the land of Giri Bandu Tea State in Chapa. According to Purna Kumari Subedi, the committee meeting held at Shingadarbar on Tuesday directed the government not to implement the decision of the Council of Ministers. Giri Bandu Tea State had been lobbying for a long time to get permission from the government to sell the land. Earlier, the locals had been protesting against the closure of the company, saying that the land should be automatically transferred to the government. Likewise, the meeting directed to submit the details of the industrial establishments and lands owned by the establishments to the committee within a month, said Subedi. She said that the meeting also decided to direct the Ministry of Land Management to submit the necessary draft for the management of the land within three months after reviewing the policy and legal provisions. <laughs> व्यवस्थापन सम्बन्धमा सरकारले नै गर्ने गरी उक्त जग्गाको व्यवस्थापन सम्बन्धमा आवश्यक मस्यौदा समिति मस्यौदा समिति समक्ष 3 महिना भित्र पेश गर्न इन द मिटिङ द कमिटी मेम्बर्स ह्याड स्ट्रेस्ड अन द नीड टु ब्रिङ द लैंड्स अफ इलिगल ऑर्गनाइजेशंस इन द नेम अफ द गभर्नमेन्ट बाइ कीपिङ ए रेकर्ड अफ कीपिङ मोर देन लैंड डिमार्केशन आफ्टर द न्यूज रिपोर्ट लेट अस नाउ टॉक अबाउट इम्प्याक्ट अफ कोरोना पेन्डेमिक इन द working status of the people. Many people have lost their jobs due to corona pandemic. It is no secret and does not need a great imagination to conclude that a lot of people are suffering. Many very smart people are doing surprising work in agriculture, making the pandemic an opportunity. One Hindu priest has started a farm and a garment industry. This is very motivating as it is creating jobs for the jobless. It is encouraging and creative. Many lost their jobs due to the coronavirus, which spread like a global pandemic last year. After the source of income from employment was cut off, many people started doing alternative business to run their daily business. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Many lost their jobs due to the impact of corona disaster that started last year in the country. However, many people started running alternative profession business. Pandit Ghansyam Dakal, who recites the gospel in Damak in Chapa, has been running an agricultural farm since last year after the corona destroyed his career. Ghansyam Dakal of Damak 3 says that he has been reciting Purna since 2054 BS. After the corona disaster, Dakal has been running agricultural farm and a garment industry. Some people have even found employment after the commercial operation of Shanta Agriculture Farm and Bashanti Garment Industry. I was able to get a lot of people to पनि हुनुहुन्छ यसमा संलग्न वहा पनि हुनुहुन्छ उहाँले चाहिँ आन्तरिकको हेर्नुहुन्छ मैले चाहिँ बाह्य विशेष गरेर हेर्ने गरेको छु र यसमा हामीले गार्मेन्ट पनि सञ्चालन गरेका छौ र यो फर्मलाई चाहिँ हामीले दर्ता गरेका छौ शान्ता कृषि फर्म भनेर यो चाहिँ महिलाकै नाममा राखिएको छ र According to Dakal, cows, goats and sheep are reared on the farm. Another manager of the farm, Kagendra Prasad Vatarai, said that there is a plan to add cows and goats to the farm. Vatarai, who has been working abroad for a few years, says that he has started an agricultural farm to do something in his own country. He said that he has been cultivating mushrooms, vegetables and paddy along with raising cows, sheep and goats. <laughs> और पाड़ा सन बाखरा सन अब जे आपने गाँव में किए गौरों की बने रहे शुरू करेगो 
अरे तो दो ही जाना नहीं आरोज़ गाड़ी लाया सम अब पची पची पता है हड़ासम में गाय आने को रहा साथ ही ये चाव खेती पूरी लो खेती धान खेती बनी हमने शुरू करी है जगह लीज़ में दे रहा Due to the devastation of Kona, not only Takal and Patrai, but also many people have recently started commercial agriculture and animal husbandry. After the news report, it is time to take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Fierce in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us continue with the news in the disease on paddy crop. Even though many farmers were happy about the fact that the rain arrived on time and they could transplant paddy, they are not so happy now that the paddy is contracting disease. The paddy is looking unhealthy according to the report. At this time, the government should be serious on the matter and provide disease control methods. The remedies should be all organic. Without the remedies, the loss will increase the dependence in the foreign products. Farmers of Nawalpur are worried after the disease was seen in their paddy crop. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Farmers of Nawalpur are worried after the disease was seen in their paddy crop. Farmers are worried that the paddy will have to be sprayed after mixing the pesticide. The farmers had hoped that the paddy cultivation would be better this year as the planting was done on time due to the timely rains. The disease has also been reported in Kawasuti 17, a paddy block area run by the Agriculture Knowledge Center and wards 11 and 12 of Gaina Court. The Agriculture Knowledge Center has been monitoring the farmers' complaints. The Knowledge Center has been monitoring the disease after receiving complaints of disease in paddy from all the eight local levels of the district. According to the center, bacterial, fungal disease and blight have been found in the paddy. Most of the nutrients are found to be deficient. After the news report, let us now talk about impact of the pandemic on the trade of agriculture produce. The farmers are able to produce through hard work. However, with the fear of corona infection, the government has placed restrictions in the market. This has pushed the traders into the street. The traders are in the roadside without following health protocols. They're causing traffic jam. The farmers and traders are not happy about the fact that the formal market is closed in Bardia. If the farmers do not sell the produce, the produce will rot and at the same time, the people will not have access to food. This should be solved. There should be management for the market of the food. The government must think of the best way to avoid infection spread and at the same time, efficient distribution of food. The farmers are in trouble due to the lock in the Hot Bazaar. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The farmers are in trouble due to lock in the Hat Bazaar. A well-equipped agriculture market in Gularia municipality of Bardia district has been closed since Baishak 14, 2078 after the second wave of corn outbreak. According to the residents of Gularia Bazaar, the farmers who come twice a week to bring their produce daily and sit on the side of the road for sale instead of the market have caused traffic problems and violated the health rules in the corona outbreak. After getting information from Gularia municipality in this regard, all the guidelines related to COVID will be issued by the district administration. <laughs> यो किसान आरोले तरकारी जाए बिजनेस को लाएगी जाए वो वर्दीये को भाई पति राम रो होती है ना बाटो के छोटे छोटे मार जाए एक्सीडेंट होने डर है ना अभी वो तरकारी पनी महंगो पाऊने है ना अब हटिया में भाई बची अब ढेरे तरकारी वाला है बची हमें ले पनी अलग दी हमें हमरो पनी उधार होती है ना � विशेष करी ये बाजार बासी को हम लोग चाहना वहाँ रूले बेवस्ती तरीके ले आपको पादन ला बिक्री करने को लागी वहाँ रू हार्ड बाजार में ही जानू पड़ता है वहाँ ले हार्ड बाजार बड़े ही बिक्री करने पड़ता है ऐसे में राम रू आधुनिक किसी को हार्ड बाजार सा किसी हार्ड बाजार ते बेरे हम लोग चाहना होने को हमरो नगर पालिका संघ यहाँ को प्रशासन संघ सभी संघ हमरो आग्रह चाहना अनुरोध हम वहाँ रूलाई चाहे अजर हमरो बेवस्ती तरीके ले दैनिक रूप में वहाँ ले 
Kulran Tharu brings more than one quintal of vegetables daily. This farmer says that it would be better if it had been arranged to keep the farmers in the Hatia than to keep them on the road. Fear of accidents while sitting on the side of the road prevails. Now this vegetable will also be expensive. The farmers are saying that they are selling vegetables on the road. Corona system is this way. They are a little embarrassed. I am going to take care of the vegetables here. We are going to take care of the vegetables here. We are going to take care of the system here. We are going to take care of the vegetables here. A very modern type of market is also operating here which has been built by spending crores of rupees. By locking and closing it, the farmers are at loss. When they are allowed on the road in this way, vehicles can come here, accidents may happen and traffic will be jammed. While we have a modern market, we have to go to the roadside to run the business on a daily basis and distribute agriculture products. There has been a lot of discussion about this market and farmers have also come. After the news report, let us now talk about distribution of agriculture materials to the farmers. There are different programs in which the farmers are assisted. The farmers are given subsidy to encourage and motivate. They are also given grants for agriculture equipment. In Bedcourt municipality, the farmers are given seeds, organic manure and other materials. This will attract more people into agriculture and the production in the country will increase. Our main goal should be food security in the country. The Bedcourt municipality of Kanchanpur has distributed seeds, organic manure and other materials to 235 farmers. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The Bedcourt municipality of Kanchanpur has distributed seeds, organic manure and other materials to 235 farmers. The materials have been distributed to the farmers under the COVID-19 response and socio-economic recovery project run in partnership with UNDP, Nepal and Vetkot municipality. This program has been implemented in all 10 wards of the municipality for the last one year under the coordination of the Ward Office for the COVID-affected and Dalit, Janjati, single women and deprived communities. 80 farmers cultivating non-seasonal vegetables have been given vegetable seeds and organic manure including tomatoes, cauliflower and cabbage. According to the municipality, 20 farmers have been given tomatoes, cauliflower and cabbage seeds and organic manure and pesticides to prepare vegetable nurseries. Similarly, the municipality has distributed seeds, fertilizer and pesticides to 50 farmers cultivating chilies. It has distributed manure to 65 farmers cultivating tomatoes and bitter gourd. Also, 30 farmers who are cultivating turmeric and ginger inside the poly house are given seeds and manure. After the news report, let us now talk about new policy on banana in Chiton. Chiton produces a lot of banana. The banana in Chiton do not get market due to the fact that India is the largest producer of banana in the world. There's always a problem when the Indian produce come to Nepal in low price. Well, the consumers are not too dumb and eat the lower price banana, which look the same as the Nepali bananas. This has always discouraged the farmers in Nepal. There's a ban on import and sale of Indian bananas in Chiton. The bananas cannot be imported from Indian market as long as they're produced in Nepal. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Import and sale of Indian bananas has been banned in Chiton. 
Import and sale of Indian bananas has been banned in the district as long as there are bananas produced in the district. According to the Chiton Banana Growers Association, the farmers were in trouble as the banana produced in the district were not sold during the banana season. This is why the sale and distribution of Indian bananas has been stopped, the association said. Such an understanding has been reached between the Zone Steering Committee of Banana Zone, Chiton Banana Growers Association, Fruit Sellers Association, Association, banana growers, farmers, and businessmen related to banana marketing. Also, it has been agreed not to send fruits and vegetables to other districts as per the demand of the metropolitan fruit and vegetable market. Chiton produces 53,000 metric tons of bananas annually. Currently, banana is being cultivated in an area of 3,000 hectares. The banana produced in Chiton is mainly consumed in Chiton, Dang, Pokhara, Baglung, Parbat, Kathmandu, Butwal, and other places. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Bosnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. Farmers are worried about the decline in production of cotton in Nepal due to the use of old seeds. The Committee on Agriculture Cooperatives and Natural Resources of the House of Representatives has directed the government not to implement the decision of the previous government to exchange or transfer the land of Giribandu tea state in Chapa. Farmers of Nawalpur are worried after the disease was seen in their paddy crop. Thank you for watching. Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Bosnet. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samritta Krishi, Nepal Kushan.